Hello and welcome to SMB Garage YouTube channel. So it's been a while since we finished filming the, uh, the video for the Clio. Hope the video is informative for you. Mm, French horsepower. One of the common problems with the Clio uh, for track use and specifically if you've turboed it is cooling. Uh, we're going to address the um, the through flow of air, which is compromised by the cross member behind the front bumper. Just do a little walk round of the car. So this is the SMV Clio, the Megane 225 turbo engine in it, running Adaptronic engine management. S single box exhaust because they're quite a quiet engine anyway, so sits nicely below uh, track decibels. Brembo calipers off the Megane 225 on it. It's running uh, the seats out the Megane 225 in it. As you can see, it's lovely and clean as I keep all of my cars. No rubbish, I haven't been eating biscuits at all. Race technology dashboard. Some uh, gauges just to keep an eye on sort of the basics of what's going on. Most of the information is displayed on the dash anyway, so they're just sort of a backup really, to be honest. We've stripped the carpet out of it. We haven't, we haven't gone much further with uh, taking the interior out. This little knob here. This is, uh, it's got an electric steering column fitted. So the Megane 225 doesn't have a power steering pump and the Clio engine does, but the earlier Clio runs an electric column. So we've fitted the electric column to this car and looped the power steering rack so it's still got fluid in it and fitted a resistor so you can adjust the feedback on the steering. It's running a comp brake pedal box. This was done because the brake servo in the Clio engine bay fouls where the turbo and downpipe go on the Megane 225 engine. So it's just a little bit close proximity. So we removed the servo and fitted the pedal box instead. So yeah, as you can see, this is where the turbo and downpipe sit and that is normally where you would find the brake servo on a Clio so that's why it was removed and replaced with a pedal box instead. The radiator sitting down here is quite thin so we're replacing it with an alley radiator. Well, some of you track guys will have encountered there's uh, a cross member that sits just behind the uh, that sits just behind the front bumper and that stops the air flowing through so we've already drilled the holes in it uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to drop the front bumper off and we're going to letterbox the cross member and sort of give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on uh, how to do that, how to get the air flowing through a little bit better. Is, it's the work of the devil. So basically what we're going to do next is put some holes through the uh, through the cross member of the Clio. We're going to use this hole cutting saw which is roughly the same size as roll cage. So once we've drilled a hole through the front and the back of the cross member we'll be able to slide that tube through and weld it either side and that will give the, uh, the strength back to the car but allow the air to pass through the cross member. I feel the touch of your hand Love you with all of my heart Makes me tremble within Love the smell of your hair Now drilled through the front and the back of the cross member and it'll be time to insert your sections of pipe which will then be welded at each end 
to add the integrity back into the cross member. Slightly different on our Clio because our Clio is a turbo Clio so the cross member has already had the rear framework taken out of it to allow the uh, Evo 5 intercooler that we've fitted and the shell has been reinforced with brackets in the corners to compensate for this already so ever so slightly different than what you'd be doing if you've got a normal 172182 track car. At this stage now you'd insert your pipe and weld at both ends. So we've encountered a little bit of a problem with the Toyo Sport radiator um, in the fact that our fan bolts onto here on the factory radiator and so the Toyo radiator didn't have the fixing points for it so what we're just doing here is we're just fabricating up some L brackets to go into the sliders the sliders I think if I'm correct are what normally holds the aircon radiator in place so we're using the guillotine to cut to cut these aluminium strips would it work who knows okay so we knocked up the brackets quick 10 minute job to be honest and yes the fan still spins there's no rivets interfering with the blades so that's ready to fit found another problem with the radiator so it's got an extra toggle on it that's not needed because it's not applicable to this car so we're just going to lob that off because it's fouling the intercooler pipe probably wouldn't be a, a problem if there wasn't a turbo but there is mmm air saw and if you listen carefully it sounds just like a duck on max make sure it's pulling water through the uh, heater matrix make sure you got heat coming out the heat events that's how you'll know the heater matrix is full just running it up now to try and get any air locks out this is a self bleeding system hence the uh, pipe at the top of the bottle Well, it's taken a good 10 or 15 minutes but finally the fans kicked in the fans working so we're gonna let the fan kick in and out a couple of times and just see if the uh, water level moves and if it's all good fire it back together time for a test drive
cooling modifications was we got a 20 degree drop in temperature which was uh, fantastic it was um, you could run the car as hard and as fast as you wanted continuously and it never got to a concerning temperature level so the results were all good so happy days hope the uh, hope the video has been informative for you and sorry it took so long to get the YouTube channel up see you later guys I'll tell you to be wild